Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be telling you what's on my iPhone SE. It is plugged in at the moment because it's flat. I have the iPhone SE. The back, as you may or may not be able to see, is like a white glass. I got this phone about a year ago for my birthday and it was already a year old when I got it, if that makes sense. The phone case is from Typo. I absolutely love this phone case and occasionally I have a phone chain, but the problem is this is the phone chain I usually use and it doesn't really go with this phone cover. <laughs> so I put on this one for now that goes a bit better. This is from Typo if you're wondering and this is my other phone cover. This is a proper Apple phone cover. Now for the actual iPhone. As you can see, I have the iOS 16 update. All I really changed is the font of the time and it's like in each one's brain. And then my battery percentage, because why not? The wallpaper I have, I literally just searched pink wallpaper. First of all, we have sub count, which is not going to load right now because I have no Wi Fi. But sub count is basically just an app you can check your sub count, which is really nice for like if my screen time is on so I can't check YouTube because that's actually all it does. Next we have Google Flash Tape which is this app you go into it will not be able to oh it loaded wow so as you can see right now it put me on my mom's phone if you didn't know but yeah basically you take like a second video but you can't choose the video you take it in that second and it's just like this little thing of like what you're doing almost like a status but you can't like fake it and I have WhatsApp which is my main form of communication. Then I have phone messages, FaceTime, Skin Seed, which is a Minecraft skin app where you can basically go searching for skins or you can save skins and customize them or just make your own skins. Next we have Spotify, which that's not my main platform for music. I usually use Apple Music, but this is just that my very small fan base at the moment can like see what I'm listening to. And there's like podcasts and stuff on there that are really nice that aren't always on Apple Music. And then Safari, which I basically never use. Mail, Pixar, which Pixar I use for my thumbnails, mostly just like the stars and stuff like that. Twitch. Which I don't like watching Twitch on my phone, it's like too small for me. It's just that it sends me the notifications. Gmail, which... Mail. And the little widget is just the dates. If you didn't notice, this page is kind of like my socials and stuff like that. The next page is more like the Apple apps. First of all, the widget is of me and my best friend, Enya. She's been in like two vlogs, which is like insane because she's my best friend. Um, but she's in the week in my life and the weekend. But yeah, this picture of us at youth. I actually really like that picture. We both look really weird, but it's just so funny. Then I have calendar, health, Apple Music, books, which I'll never use, reminders, which I only use to remind myself to drink my medicine to help me concentrate, photos, notes, find my phone, clock, shortcuts, iTunes, fitness, which my fitness has been so bad. Next here we have my more like basic apps I just downloaded myself. First we have Netflix, which I don't really watch Netflix on my phone. Quanto, which is my main source of thumbnails. Then this one, I don't know how to say that. Also thumbnails, I've never used it before, I just heard it's a nice app. Then Yuji, so basically you click up the top and then you take a picture and then it gives off this little look. I actually took some pictures with Enya. Then we have Sticker Maker, which I make all my stickers on. IXL, which is where I do my schoolwork. Then Duolingo, which I was learning Swedish when I like, I want to say just started YouTube. <laughs> I haven't done it again in so long. Minecraft, Shazam, Widget Smith, which I use to make these widgets now on my phone. Filter, which I also heard is a really good thumbnail app, but I haven't used it yet. Studio, which I barely ever use. I mostly use it to make sure my thumbnail is the right size because it is so frustrating when like your thumbnail's ready and everything and you're so proud of it and it's not the right size. iMovie, which like my very, very early videos, like if you go back to my like old channel, my videos were edited with iMovies. And Photo Retouch, which I just recently saw someone and they were like, yeah, it's a really good app. Then we have CapCut, which is what I edit on at the moment. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. You're not